getting ready for another little shopping trip. So today I'm taking you to Soho and I will check out a few stores but the idea is I will pick one particular item in each store that I think is worth the purchase for the summer. So I hope you like this concept but I'm just getting ready and using my favorite perfume right now which is the Dossier Musky Gaiac still don't know how to pronounce the name but I talked about it in my birthday vlog and this scent lasts on my body for quite a long time I don't need to like touch it up or anything throughout the day and I just love how affordable it is it is the dupe for the Labo do not remember the name, but I'll put it on the screen. If you live in New York City, you know Soho is the... I mean, even if you don't, you probably also have heard of Soho. In Manhattan, it is essentially the center of all of the fashion shops. So I hope that I will take you along to some of my favorite shops and let's see what we can find. <laughs>
it is a couple days later and I thought I would just show you what I picked up from Soho as well as a couple other things that I just picked up recently. So starting off with some makeup bits. As you can see from the Zara footage, Zara recently launched their beauty line and I was obsessed with their lip colors. In particular, I picked up one of their tinted lip balm, which is this guy, and then also their stiletto matte lipstick. Um, so I'm wearing the tinted lip balm right now. This is in the shade Say Kiss. So the thing with these beauty products is they're all refillable. So for the lip balm, what you do is the packaging actually comes with this reusable bit. So you can keep the lid and the outside of it and just basically plug in the refill. It does feel heavier than a normal lip balm, but because it's moisturizing, I don't mind as much. But also because it is a tinted lip balm, the color, I would say only stayed for a couple, maybe hmm, three, four hours the last time I wore it. So it's not going to be the most long lasting lipstick, but this is in a very pretty color. I love curly nudie shades. And then I also picked up this stiletto one. Not my favorite nude shade, but I think I can still wear it, especially when the weather gets a little bit cooler. I feel like this type of shade is perfect for the fall and winter time. Then from Muji, I actually picked up two bags. So the first one is this jute tote in their medium size. My idea of this one, and actually this is copying my friend Joy's idea. So she basically painted this almost like a Dior book tote. Even if you are not into painting your bags, you could still just buy one for grocery purposes. I will say it feels uh, a little bit rough. So don't wear it when you wear like silky or really delicate clothing. But other than that, I mean, it is a very cute bag. And even if you just want to hang it, maybe on your wall as like a decorational piece, I think that could work too. And I also got this guy. So actually, let me take this out. I think you're supposed to put household items in it or you could use this to buy fruits. Although like I never put, you know, two lemons in here, like the Instagram girls, um, it's just, impractical for purchasing fruit. But what I did with this bag is I actually putting my own dust bag. This is a Tory Burch dust bag that I got from like a pair of shoes. So it actually looks pretty much the same size, a little bit bigger. The shade matches perfectly. Like the shade of the dust bag is the exact same. A couple of years ago, Celine had a couple of their totes that were shaped exactly like this and they were selling for at least hundreds of dollars and for nine dollars and a dust bag you can use any sort of dust bag that you already have you don't even need to buy extra one this is a great example and i was actually wearing this bag over my shoulder like this and i thought this is super cute i got this dress as well as another dress from target target has been launching a bunch of really cool designer collaborations this summer i don't remember they launch so many in the summer i think there are at least four different designer collaborations with Target. This one is Target with Rixo. I was just walking around uh, on the street today with this dress and I got at least four or five compliments on this dress. So definitely a stranger favorite. But if this collection is still available, definitely try and pick out at least a piece for yourself. There are a bunch of different designs, but this is my favorite piece. This next one is Target with Christopher John Rogers. So I looked into Christopher John Rogers. Apparently, he's like 28 or something. He, he might be younger than me. So um, crazy talented. I love the use of color, just the two shades of pink with this belt with a balloon-ish sleeve. 
and just tiered bottom. This is made of extremely high quality cotton. Like the, it holds its shape so well. You don't even have to iron it. And I just am obsessed. As soon as I saw this dress, I'm like, yep, definitely have to buy it. I'm just going to be rotating in these two dresses for the summer. And if they still have this dress available, highly, highly recommend looking to this dress. And one last thing, I am just obsessed with my nails. My friend Vanessa has recently graduated from nail school, so I was one of her sort of test clients, and I am super obsessed with this pastel pride swirly print that she did on me. She's so talented. I'll leave her Instagram so you can check her out. Definitely very much looking forward to wearing more cute pieces this summer and maybe taking you to more shops over the summer. I know I want to check out a couple of sample cells, so maybe I'll do a dedicated video on shopping sample cell in New York City. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed coming shopping with me, and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye!